from religion. And to me, my honorable feeling, I have to express my honorable feeling to the honorable minister, Sri Suresh Kumar, and my friends, Nagabharana and Narahari Rao, and Girish Kasavalli, another great friend of mine as a filmmaker as well as uh, uh, we are the, practically the colleagues at the FTI in Pune during 1974. And then Ms. Joy Yan, the cultural counselor of Taiwan Embassy, and Sri Jairam Raja as the Secretary of Canada Cultural and Department of Information. What is cinema for me? I think if there is no art like cinema, India would have been different. Like if we had no trains in this country, India would have been different. Cinema really makes the whole country together. It's the biggest cultural activity of this more than a century. It is one of the biggest art form that makes the memory, putting it together, what is memory of a human being for that reason. Cinema underlines the memory of the human being. I would, I again consider what is the memory for us as a human being. It bonds together our cultural values, it bonds together our nativity, it, it again bonds with the families together, and then the memory again if you refer to me as what the cinema stands for, memory, if you ask any good person, human being, if you ask to tell which is the 10 best memories in your life, I think the best human you ever gave surely will tell one of the good cinema I ever saw in his life. I think that makes the, the whole life for all of our country, for all of our even the life which is what why in through the qualities of cinema which we understood the past and the, the qualities of the art which we are going to see in the future also. Here, for example, we this again becomes an image for the entire na not only nation, internationally also to put together. We see uh, the cultural council of Taiwan is here. And share because of the reason that cinema is here. And we understand them in a different medium. Not like any other platform. We, we practically be in, in a place where then we become the part of the cinema and in a, in a huge crowd we become alone. Which probably, which, which intimate art can tell and address that element to here. Chalachitra Academy, it's a moving Chalachitra Academy. It moves from one place to another place. In the entire, in the entire uh, Karnataka. Which means, the mo moving, the motion picture gets another meaning here. Which is really, really a, a great thought that way. I think I should congratulate the old thought behind uh, we had the chairman of the school that you know, mm, uh, I think uh, our friends Nagaparana uh, uh, and then uh, uh, our, uh, my friends uh, Girish Kaskwali and the other filmmakers here and then the minister who is supporting for that visa. Uh, and in one way, uh, again uh, coming back to my memories as the chairman in Kerala State Film, uh, in Chal uh, the Chalchitra Academy of Kerala State, which we call Chalchitra Academy again, to, uh, there we wanted to conduct the entire international film festival. Kerala had an opportunity to because it is a state which is very narrow in uh, one way looking at so that the entire uh, state is a kind of a township for us. So we could able to move in my tenor, uh, we could move from Tuandra which is the capital and then to Kochi and then to Kansas. But in three years which I was in that, uh, that position as the chairman, I understood the amount of the 
like filmmakers, later came as a kind of a, a, a supporter for not only the film, but also when they turned out as a filmmaker later after five years, after watching good cinema, and, which, and later they contributed to Indian films as a filmmaker from that place. It was a great education for all of the uh, university level and the students there. We, and, and it supported the whole way that in India, in Kerala, now at this moment, when I make a cinema there, I get really a strong support from theatre background, which I could be able to take my kind of feelings from the entire Kerala because we could be able to cultivate a different kind of culture because then they derive the whole idea, not only of my feelings, but the feelings from what is happened around the world and where is our cinema artists stand ahead of us, them or behind them, which makes in one way, I understand the, the country in terms of a, 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 what is the proud moment of a country. I think a culturally oriented, a strong uh, civilization with a lot of cultural support. I think that is the asset of the any state. It's not the value of the money. It is the value of the cultural asset of the state that will turn out to be the biggest asset, I am sure, in the later. Why we call Taj Mahal at this moment, where so many tourists come here and watch there, is it a value that behind it? Now the value is in assets in terms of money the tourists come. It is not a monument that which the concept that is being arrived at that time was much more important, but later it becomes another cultural mind for our entire mind of the whole of the world. I think I can translate at this moment to the uh, uh, Academy for inviting me also to be here at this great occasion, and I also take it as the greatest memory in my life. And personally, I thank my friend Nagaharana for that reason also, and also my great friend always here. Thank you so much for it.